Here are my top tips before you take your ACLS course. I recently took an ACLS refresher course designed to reinforce and update existing knowledge and skills in cardiac emergencies. I'm bringing you along with me and giving you some tips along the way. You might be wondering what's the difference between BLS and ACLS. BLS stands for Basic Life Support. This is your standard CPR certification. It teaches you how to recognize life-threatening emergencies, perform high-quality chest compressions, deliver appropriate ventilations, and provide the use of an AED. BLS is typically required for healthcare providers like UAPs, RNs, LPNs, MDs, EMTs, and paramedics. ACLS stands for Advanced Cardiovascular Life Support. This goes beyond the basics. It's typically required for healthcare professionals like nurses, paramedics, and physicians. In ACLS, you'll learn how to read and interpret EKG rhythms, advanced airway management, how to administer emergency drugs and the correct dosing, and how to respond to cardiac arrest, stroke, and other cardiovascular emergencies. You must have strong BLS skills as a foundation to get your ACLS certification. In fact, BLS certification is a prerequisite for taking an ACLS course. We started with a full review of the American Heart Association algorithms. You know, the stuff that saves lives. Don't panic thinking you have to memorize all this. Most ACLS tests are generally considered open book or open resource. Students are typically allowed to use their ACLS provider manual. But it's super helpful to get familiar with how the algorithms flow so you can navigate them easily. All right, next are your BLS skills. Remember I said you must have strong BLS skills as a foundation to get your ACLS certification. You should be confident in recognizing emergency situations and calling for help, performing high quality CPR, that's compressions and ventilation, using an AED correctly, basic airway management like head tilt chin lift, jaw thrust, and a bag valve mask use. All right, now back to ACLS specific skills. You'll learn acute coronary syndrome and stroke management. You need to recognize signs and symptoms quickly and understand the types of strokes. Remember, there are ischemic strokes and hemorrhagic strokes. You always wanna get a CT head scan first. You must distinguish between ischemic and hemorrhagic before you treat the stroke. You also need to be familiar with emergency medications. We reviewed critical medications like epinephrine, amiodarone, and lidocaine. You'll learn when to give them, how much to give, and what rhythms or situations call for them. A very important aspect of ACLS is EKG rhythm recognition. I can't stress this enough, recognizing EKG rhythms quickly is a game changer. You'll not only learn to identify them, you'll also learn what to do and which meds to give for each one. Here are commonly seen rhythms you should be familiar with when it comes to ACLS. In ACLS, airway management covers many techniques. It emphasizes the importance of both bag mask ventilation and also advanced airway devices like endotracheal tubes. Then we ran through a full mock code, compression, shocks, teamwork, and all. We learned how to prioritize roles during resuscitation, when to call for help, and how to be calm in the chaos. And that's everything we covered in the ACLS refresher course. If you need more help with EKG rhythms, you can check out this video. Happy studying, future nurses.